Ibrahim from UPSI. This video is a mini project for very difficult subject that I took. And thank you for my mini projects are the difference between plant cells and animal cells. Cells are the basic unit that build the body of an organism. All cells just emerge from process mitosis are alive. Then these young cells will grow and go through specialization to form different tissue by its position in organism. Animal cells plot in some liquid are uh, spherical shape, while cells in contact with certain surface has a permanent shape. Example, fun cell. Second, let's look at the size of the cell. Most cells are microscopic in size range 0.5 to 40 micrometer. There are several factors that limit the size of the cell. First, ratio of total surface area divided by the volume of the cell. That means the larger size of the cell, the lower rate of metabolism. Second, ratio of nucleocytoplasm. Because capability of nucleus to control a large cell depend on the nucleocytoplasm. Animal cells always moving around to find food. That's why they need to be small. Third, cell support. Since the majority of cell content is full of water, so they need cell wall to support the water. This allow plant cell become greater than animal cell. These three factors explain why animal cells are smaller than plant cell. Different number three are cell wall and its content. Plant cell have a cell wall but animal cell doesn't have a cell wall. Cell wall is only flexible, but sometimes very rigid and strong. There are several functions of this cell wall. First, as a filter mechanism. Second, give support and protect cell from external interference. Third, act as primary cell and prevent over expansion. Inside this cell wall, there are plasmodesma. Plasmodesma are tiny holes that connect adjacent cells. These holes penetrate primary and secondary wall. The purpose of this hole is to let certain molecules pass from one to another cell and let them communicate. So, plant cells have a plasmodesma while animal cells doesn't. While in animals, the cell membrane is exposed directly to the external environment, in the cells of certain protists, most bacteria and fungi, and all plants, the cellular membrane is covered by a stiff non-living cell wall. In plant cells, the cell walls are composed of cellulose and other polysaccharides, while in fungal cells, the walls are made up of a modified polysaccharide called chitin. Bacterial cell walls also have a chitin-like framework to which amino acids and other molecules are bound. Mushrooms and plants have cell walls because, unlike animals, they have neither an external or internal skeletal structure to provide support and must therefore rely on rigid cell walls in order to stand erect. Cell walls are produced by the cells they surround. In plants, Vessels filled with a sticky polysaccharide, such as pectin, line up across the middle of dividing cells, eventually fusing together to form a new plasma membrane that separates the new daughter cells from one another. The pectin glues the two daughter cells together and forms what is referred to as the middle lamella. 
Each daughter cell secretes cellulose through its cellular membrane underneath the middle lamella to form the primary cell wall. Many plants then secrete additional cellulose molecules beneath the primary wall to form a thick secondary cell wall. In some plant cells, the secondary cell wall may become thicker than the rest of the cell. The cells that form tree trunks and branches have these very thick cell walls. These cells are composed almost entirely of cellulose. Without these strong and thick cellulose walls, trees would be incapable of supporting their large loads. Cell walls, in addition to being strong, are also porous to allow the passage of small molecules such as minerals, amino acids, and sugars to the cell membrane. Just as in animals, however, it is the cell membrane in plants that actually controls the passage of materials between the cell and its external environment. Different number four are pago or pinocytosis. Both pino and pagocytosis form from endocytosis process. In this process, cell membrane will form small structure resemble bladder. Pagocytosis are cell eating and pinocytosis are cell drinking. This occur because the material are too large and cannot get in through cell membrane. Pago and pinocytosis only occur at animal cells. The substances taken in by single-celled organisms are often particles or large polar molecules that cannot cross the hydrophobic plasma membrane. Many single-celled eukaryotes employ endocytosis to ingest such food particles. In this process, the plasma membrane extends outward and surrounds the food particle. Cells use three major types of endocytosis, phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and receptor-mediated endocytosis. If the material the cell takes in is particulate, such as a bacterium or a fragment of organic matter, the process is called phagocytosis. If the material the cell takes in is liquid, it is called pinocytosis. Flagella is composed of filament, hook, and vessel body. It has long structure that extends beyond cell surface and it is responsible for movement. Each flagellum or cilium is ten of nine of longitudinal microtubules arranged in nine circles around in center pair. The collection of tubules is referred to as the exonym and it is covered with rest of the organism cell membrane. Exonym anchor where it is inserted into main body of the cell with a vessel body. Many cells use flagella for moving around. These Chlamydomonas swim very fast using their two flagella. At high magnification, the two flagella become visible when a cell is embedded in mucilage, slowing their activity right down. Like many algae, Chlamydomonas has an eye spot which responds to light and affects the way the flagella beat, steering the cell toward or away from it. Many proteins have flagella of different length and function. This euglenoid, called phacus, is swimming in the direction of its longer flagellum. These relatives of phacus also have two flagella which function differently. One beats in a coil around the cell. 